This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. But Jeff, let's jump into the whole King of the Mountain concept. Like, in case you're not familiar with this concept, can you explain to someone who is listening to this podcast but did not watch? How would you break down and describe the King of the Mountain match? Man, Conrad, if I could tell you the amount of times in 2011, 12, and 13, we're talking 2004 right now. Yeah. Four, four, yeah. Well, we in 405. Oh, four. We're, we're in 04. Oh, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So seven years later, I'll call it during the Hogan era, because at that point, I mean, it's, it's almost like something that they kind of latched on to all oh, these gimmick matches. Don't, I don't even know the rules to this. And I can hear Russo, bro, I've been doing it for years and I still don't understand kind of silliness. It's a reverse ladder match. And with that being said, you take the belt and you hang it. You got to climb a ladder and you got to hang it on the rung, the same type of rung, uh, that traditional ladder matches, uh, are. Uh, uh, you know, are, are used. And a lot of people say, now, wh wh why, why did you come up with that? Why did you think through all that? And I said, it's kind of simple. I always thought, and this may be overthinking, maybe some of my OCD Conrad, but as a champion going into a l traditional ladder match, it's like the, 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 the champion has to relinquish the belt and we're going to go hang it. It's, it's kind of like maybe the belt could be held up. So hold the, uh, hold, hold the belt up. It's one of those, th those situations, but a traditional ladder match. And I thought to myself, okay, how can we kind of do something innovative? People love ladder matches, people, all the stunts and falls and everything that's been covered on all your podcasts. And there's some fantastic ladder matches, you know, uh, my favorite one or still up there at the very top is Sean Razor at WrestleMania 10. But with that being said, a reverse ladder match and with multiple people in it. So as we sort of drilled it down, I said, okay, I don't want to do an elimination, but, but what can we do to basically kind of take it another step? And so to get qualified to hang the belt, you got to get a pinfall. If you get a pinfall, all right, what are we going to do with that guy that got pinned? Uh, he can, he can't jump up and go steal the belt and run right to the top. If you got the belt. So we have a small penalty box at ringside. And so if you get pinned, the guy who gets the pin is qualified to uh, hang the belt. And the guy who got pinned does two minutes in the penalty box and that's it. Okay. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> how do you remember uh, this? This coming to be, I mean, is this feels old school Memphis, uh, but I, I know a lot of our listeners assume, oh, this is Russo's idea. Set the record straight to the best of your recollection. Whose idea? My idea. Was okay. My idea. Uh, you know, the King of the mountain that we kind of worked into with episodically in the asylum. And therefore, while I was wearing a tuxedo and, and just kind of went down that, not the traditional, like. King, the King, uh, Jerry, the King Lawler, King Carl Fergie, King Harley race, King Haku. I mean, you know, all the different Kings through the, through the years, just a kind of a little different slant. And we went with King of the mountain. And so I don't know who, who said something in, um, in creative, but Hey, what about a King of the mountain match? And I just remember hearing that and I go, I've always wanted to do, or somehow some way figure out a reverse ladder match. The, the fact that you climb to the ladder and bring the belt down. And as I already mentioned that it kind of feels and, uh, rightly or wrongly that, okay, the champion has to relinquish his title and he's okay. It's hung up on a gimmick, but so I, I wanted to do the reverse ladder match, uh, concept. And then we layered in, okay, if you're going to have two or three people in it, how does the belt you know, who, who determines who can take that belt and win. And once the, the belt goes, comes into play is after a win after a pinfall, excuse me. So, so it's me, Conrad. I'm, I'm glad to know that we can point the <laughs> finger at you. Yes. We're, we're, also talk, 
Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you don't notice any time we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.